video. There probably is no audio at this time, but there is a mute and microphone setting built in. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at the photo frame Wi-Fi security camera with a one year standby. We are streaming live all day long. We simply relax and spy on the people. So here is our night footage. Can you tell where it is? No. Can you see something strange about it? Yeah. What? I made it. No, it's got a hidden camera. Whether it's nanny cam, whether it's a baby monitor, this piece of hardware, I am very impressed with. Now we gotta make sure that the red light is blinking and in our case, it's still blinking. Let's see if you can spot it. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the photo frame Wi-Fi security camera. This is a Wi-Fi 802.11 BGNS wireless receiver. It's got a micro SD memory card. And this frame is primarily for motion detection. It does not have constant video recording. Microfiber cloth to clean the screen. You have a user manual for the photo frame Wi-Fi hidden camera. It looks like it's only in English. Yeah, very easy to follow instructions. So I do like that. You will definitely need to install an app to run this. Warranty policy of up to 12 months for replacement, which is always great. We have the charging micro USB cable. Now, the one thing I don't like about any product that is supposed to be stealthy is that you always get a camera or some sort of an infrared glow. Now, with this frame, it's supposed to not be able to tell where the camera is. And I'm actually looking at it right now. Let me see if I can spot it. So it, let's see if you can spot it. So that's the top of the frame. So I imagine that the camera should be some sort of a pinhole because you have a dot there, a dot there. It's like playing Where's Waldo, but I honestly can't even tell. Let me see if I can look really closely. I think it's right here because there's a little indent right on here that I can see, but normally there's absolutely no way you'd be able to tell. There is a uh, bracket on here so you can hang it on a wall. Uh, they do say that there's a natural 15 degree sort of camera angle. So if you put it up on the wall, you will actually be able to see sort of, so it's sort of like that. You have a screw for your wall, you have a peg, and then you have a sort of pinhole device to get the SD card out. And then you have micro USB 2.0 adapter. So you put your SD card in here, plug this into the computer so you can retrieve your videos that are on here. Okay, so this is the stand for the frame. So that's nice. And here's the frame. Here's the camera, PIR sensor, and then here's the infrareds. There's also a power button here, and, and then the blinkering status light. And on the inside here, we have a built-in lithium battery. This battery is supposed to last for a whole year without actually any charge, as long as it's in idle mode. You should charge this frame for about 30 hours to get a full 100% charge. This camera will record only 10 to 60 second videos, but it does not do continuous recording. As long as you're connected to the Wi-Fi and this is connected to the Wi-Fi, you will actually be able to watch a continuous stream, which is why this will double as a baby monitor quite nicely. We can swap this in for any photo really. We're gonna put the cover back on and see if we can fool anybody with this picture frame. Snaps into place quite easily. So can you tell where it is? No. Okay, pull the frame apart. It, it's, there's four clips here. Mm -hmm. Open it up. And they're right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But so the, what's this camera? What are these things? These are infrared, so it's night mode too. It's night vision oh. and it's motion activated. Wow. Pretty cool, eh? How much? Uh, it's 120 US. You like the frame? Yeah. Don't you think it's a little gothic? Yeah. So you just said you like the frame though. Yeah. What do you think of the frame though? It's gothic. It's 120 bucks. Do you think it's worth it? Yeah. Can you see something strange about it? Yeah. What? I made it. No. It's got a hidden camera. 
I'm gonna show you right now how to set up this uh, photo frame here. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you turn on the, the device and you have a blinking red light and let's install it. And look for an app called the EI. So now that you have tapped device, let's add a camera. Now we gotta make sure that the red light is blinking and in our case, it's still blinking. Start this process. So we'll go yes. So now we need to scan the key here and enter the Wi-Fi password. It's gonna ask you to set up a brand new password. So it connected it, so we're just gonna call this living room. And as you can see, the device has been connected. So let's press configure. Here's where we're gonna change our time settings. So you can change your time zone. So you can change your password. You can set your uh, motion detection settings here. Record duration, let's change to 60 seconds. This means that every single time there is a motion activation, the camera is gonna turn on for 60 seconds. Detection schedule, you can, you can dive right into here and set the different sort of increments of time when you want the uh, frame to actually work. Of course, this will also save the battery time. So we're just gonna leave everything on. You can change the mirror and flip of the image. So now you can see that, hello, the frame is actually right now displaying this information. So, and we're gonna display this in the living room. So now you cannot change the angle of the camera. So wherever you position it, that's where the frame of reference. So in my case, I want to make sure that I see people coming through that door over there. That's the entrance and people in the living room. Or we could put it on the TV and then this will sort of give us a little more of a view. So let's review the footage right from our phone. No need to take the files off the SD card. First icon on the screen is the envelope do not disturb mode. Once clicked, you will not receive any notifications from the phone. The second icon is the motion detection. You can adjust your sensitivity and completely enable it or disable, as well as setting the record duration of your clips. The third button is your play preview button and it displays really nicely within the calendar the different events that occurred on what date. On the 11th of April, we have captured. So let's play it. So here is our night footage. One thing that I do wish is that they actually allowed us a little display thumbnail so we would be able to really quickly browse to see if it's worth actually playing. This is the video that I was recording with the phone earlier and again this is in very low dim light and the colors are also popping out and they're vibrant. So one thing I don't like about this is there is no thumbnail here and you cannot delete this as far as I can tell from within the app. The camera is here and we're sort of facing out this way. So let's go and see if we can stream this in real time. And there we are. You're streaming live and in charge. So now all day long we simply relax and spy on the people in the house. You can go full screen by clicking the button and it will rotate right on the side. You can take a screenshot, which again saves to the folder. You can start recording, and this will actually save into the actual card. Now, is there audio? There probably is no audio at this time, but there is a mute and microphone setting built in, so we're going to try enabling to see if it actually works. We've enabled the microphone, so let's see if right now the audio is recording for the frame. So this is what it looks like when it's recorded straight from the camera at 720p, scaled up to 1080p for this video review. In terms of specifications for this unit, the built-in image sensor is at one quarter progressive CMOS, 1.0 lux for sensor sensitivity, the angle of the view is 60%. The video specs are AVI videos, JPEG files, 
H264 codec, 1280 by 720, so it's 720p up to 15 frames per second. And the, the night vision is up to 8 meters, which is really 26 feet. There are 30 infrared LEDs located up here. So let's turn off the lights right now. The infrared have activated. You can see them through the camera lens. However, with a naked eye, you cannot see these. If they turned off. Well, here it is, the photo frame Wi-Fi security camera. This camera does a brilliant job in the night mode. Its distance and motion alerts are extremely on cue. Right here, you can see that the motion alert came through and you can right away click on it and access the camera by pressing the play button. In conclusion, this stealthy little camera is $120 and may or may not be the right buy for you. Whether it's nanny cam, whether it's a baby monitor, this piece of hardware, I am very impressed with. There is a few cons about this, especially the price point, but if you want the latest and the greatest, you have to pay for it. If you have a nanny, if you are using this as a baby monitor, yes, get this because it's definitely worth it, one being the baby monitor and the fact that it completely blends into the background. However, if you're just a, a guru for security items and you want something cool, this is probably a little too expensive, a little too extreme, and you don't necessarily need it as there are other cameras out there that will probably suit your hobbyist lifestyle. If you found this video to be informative, like and subscribe. On this channel, we dive into product reviews and more importantly, business and investing advice. Marcin, out.